You want to know how to change your skin in Minecraft. First things first, you're going to need to get a skin. You can either download one from the skin decks here or make your own Minecraft skin. Both of these are linked in the description down below. If you make your own skin, it's our guide on making a skin. If you download from the skin decks, well, it will take here to the skin decks where we can then search for skins up here at the top, which I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and search for a knight skin. And then we can go ahead and find one that we think looks good. How about this just classic knight skin here? If we click on that, it will take us to where we can download it. How do you download it from here? Well, click on this download button on the right hand side. This gray download button. It will open up a new page, but as long as this is a PNG file here, we are good to save this file right like so, and the download will begin. While your skin is downloading, coming to us from our company, Simple Game Hosting, go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server, and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out, so stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The Breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Once you've got your skin, you can edit skins by the way that you find on the skin decks using this guide as well. So if you want to customize it some, you can. But once you've got your skin file, how do you add it to Minecraft? Well, we actually want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. Then in the Minecraft launcher, we can go ahead to our skins up here at the top and then click the plus new button. When you do that, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this the Night Skin because that's what it is. You can select your player model, slim or wide, and then we can go ahead and browse to find our skin file. Now for me, it's going to be in the downloads folder here. You can move this to your desktop or wherever your file downloads to is where the skin is. It does not have to stay there forever. You can just use it one time and then delete it from your computer. But once you select the skin, it'll be in Minecraft. You can check it out. You can also change it, which model looks better, right? You can do that. And you can select your cape if you have them. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the 15th anniversary cape for this skin because why not? And then you can go ahead and click save and use in the bottom right, and it will select. Now, if you didn't click save and use, you can also hover over a skin here and click on use. What's cool, any skins you've added in the past, you can actually switch between. For example, I could switch back to my normal skin if I wanted to, or I could switch to the night skin we just added. As far as keeping these skins, generally they will stay in the Minecraft launcher, but if you love a skin, back up that skin file you downloaded. Keep it somewhere safe, because sometimes this will get wiped. I have seen it get wiped for me in the past, so make sure you keep those if you love them. But if we go ahead and jump in game, we can press F5 and swing around and see that our skin is in fact active. Uh, you can press F5 on your keyboard if you have F row. If not, you can do Fn plus 5. Usually that will spin your character around. You can press it again to go back into the normal first person view there, but there is the skin. If we wanted to change it, we could go back into the Minecraft launcher, go back into skins, and I want to switch back to my normal skin that I always use. Just hover over that, click on use, and it will now be active right like so. We can then play Minecraft using that skin and it will be active in game. Sometimes whenever a skin is changed, you might have to restart Minecraft in order to get it to work. And some servers do have limitations on skins, what skins can be used. And some skins are actually blacklisted by Mojang themselves, so keep that in mind. But at this point, you now know how to change your skin in Minecraft. As you can see, our skin is back to the one that uh, well, I've used for ever, honestly, uh, is this skin a uh, decade, honestly. But there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.